Hey everyone, welcome back to another 100 recap here on the channel. Last week's episode ended with what looked like Clark's memories flooding back to Josephine. So maybe she's still alive in there after all. Let's go ahead and jump into this one and find out what happens. Like and subscribe for daily content. The episode begins right where last week left off with Clark back in the cell with all the drawings. She goes through a door and she's somewhere else and runs into her father. At first she thinks she's dead until she hears her own heartbeat and then realizes that she's not completely gone. Her father tells her that he's here for her but that she won't find the answers she seeks with him. Clark leaves out through another door. She steps out into a spaceship and though through another door we see her outfit change and her hair is longer, much like it was in season 3. She comes face to face with Allie and she advises Clark to save the memory and keep it safe. Clark opens a door that isn't familiar with her and Josephine walks out. She tells Clark that this body isn't big enough for the both of them. Josephine tells Clark that the mind wipe failed and this is the first time that's happened in over a hundred years. She says it can't last though because one of them has to win out and that Clark has no hope. Josephine enters the room where Clark's memories are stored and puts her hands on the walls. We hear audio from the previous seasons and I thought this was a really cool way to show those past events. Josephine wants more of Clark's memories and Clark t takes her out thinking she's gotten rid of her for good. Josephine comes back though telling Clark she can't die in the mindscape. Clark runs through the mindscape as Josephine stalks her out. This time she runs into the bunker and comes face to face with Octavia in full Blood Raina mode. Clark runs farther into her mind and enters the white room at Mount Weather and meets one of the people she was forced to kill. The radiated girl, Maya, blames Clark for her death. Clark goes from there to some cave. I think this may be where she raised Maddie, but I'm not 100% sure. She manages to put some sort of collar on Josephine, which will slow her down and give Clark time to retake her body. Josephine brings in help from Russell, and I'm not sure if this is actual Russell or just another part of Clark's mindscape, but he's going to help Josephine capture Clark and get rid of her. They end up in the woods and we see a flashback to when Clark had to kill Finn. Josephine taunts Clark, trying to figure out why this is a place she was scared to visit. She shows Clark a memory of Bellamy accepting Russell's offer to keep them safe, and Clark starts to think this over. She wants to make sure her friends are okay and that Maddie's taken care of. She opens a box and lets Josephine find the memory she was hiding, the one with Raven resisting mind control when Allie tried to chip her back in Season 3. Clark is alone in her mindscape when a door opens and Monty shows up. He tells her that she's not doing the best for her people. She tells him it was her only choice, but he reminds her of everything she was willing to give up by letting Josephine win. Together they go into Josephine's mind space, which looks like a library, and Clark sees a memory of when one of Josephine's hosts was killed, and then in an earlier memory where Josephine kills a man out in the woods. With Monty's help, Clark enters a memory that Josephine wanted to keep closed. They're on Earth before the bombs at a diner in which a teenage Josephine is talking with friends, and a guy that Josephine was flirting with calls her out for being stuck up and then shoots himself in the head right in front of her. This enrages Josephine and she attacks Clark violently and we see her wake up in Clark's body thinking she's won. In a meeting with Russell, Bellamy starts to notice Josephine tapping her arm in code. He writes down the number of taps and we see Clark and Monty messing with some Christmas lights that seem to be controlling the body. They're giving Bellamy a signal. He decodes the signal which spells out alive and realizes that Clark is still in there and that he's going to get her back. The episode ends there and I really liked this one with all the flashbacks and memories. I thought it was a really well done episode and I enjoyed seeing the old characters. I would have loved to have seen Lexa in more than just a quick shot, but I'm sure the actress is busy with Fear the Walking Dead. Still would have been nice though. I'm going to leave this video here. Be sure and smash that like button if you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next week. Have a great day. Like and subscribe for daily content.